everyone and welcome to the channel and today on the channel I'm going to be talking about a brand new comedy horror found footage film that will be premiering on Shutter on October the 6th called Deadstream. But before I get to my thoughts about this brand new film, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, comment below your thoughts on this film, and also turn the notification bell so you never miss any video that I post and I upload weekly. And now without further ado, let's get into my thoughts about this brand new film. A disgraced internet personality attempts to win back his followers by live streaming one night alone in a haunted house. But when he accidentally pisses off a vengeful spirit, his big comeback event becomes a real-time fight for his life. The film stars Joseph Winter, Melanie Stone, and Jason Wixom, and was directed by Joseph Winter and Vanessa Winter. Deadstream is another film that I knew nothing about. I did like the poster and didn't really know anything else about the film, didn't read a synopsis going to the film. And when I did get into this film, I was thinking to myself, I don't think that I've actually reviewed a found footage horror film on this channel. So you have this character named Sean. He has this channel called Wrath of Sean. He has a YouTube channel and he also has this channel called Livid and he gets kicked off these channels. He does a lot of different dares and really dangerous stunts and he ends up pissing off a bunch of followers. He gets a bunch of lawsuits against him and he gets demonetized and he eventually does get monetized. He returns back on and so this big returning event for him is to go into a haunted house and see what it really is going to be like and really live in the moment and live stream it for his fans and have everybody comment. I think that his humor is a lot to really take in here. And I think that some people, they may be a little bit divided on his character. I do like a few different funny parts in this film. I like that he basically says that he doesn't want any money, but then he flashes his merch all on screen. And I like before he goes into the house, he talks about how he has his own music and he calls it the Sean Carpenter score, obviously referring to John Carpenter. And I like when he is in this haunted house that that he is very over the top with his reactions, whether it be his whole comedy that he adds into it, or when he's walking around the house and he's screaming and he's doing all these different kind of gags as he's going through the house and doing all these different things to really just piss off the ghosts and all the history that is involved in this house. The biggest thing that really stood out to me in this film is the fact that we are on the beaten path here. There really is nobody around. This house is in the middle of nowhere. And this house, now I don't know if this is actually filmed on a location or they found a house and rented it out and beat it up or if there's really any history upon this house, but they did a really good job of how they designed this house. I love when you go into this house, it's just straight up filth, it's a mess, there is boarded up windows, there's graffiti everywhere in the house, there is ceiling tiles falling down, there is a bunch of different things that just look really out of order, and the house just looks like a piece of crap. You could never sell this house, it was a complete wreck. I think they did a really good job of really painting the picture of a horror scene here, and even having a back story as to why Sean is actually going to this house and he even knows a lot of the history about this house and I like that he has a lot of different cameras that he actually sets up in the different rooms and he actually tells us about the different stories about how this whole legend of this house actually became about and what really went on in this house prior to him being there. The film has some really solid practical effects and also has some pretty solid makeup as well. There even is a little bit of a tribute to Evil Dead here. Not a ton, but a little bit that really did remind me of Evil Dead. I really like when we're actually going through this house. Sean, when he's wandering through the house, he actually has his followers actually commenting during the live stream. And some of their comments are really funny on what he should do and just some of the situations that Sean faces when he's in this house it can be really funny and some of the parts I don't think they're meant to be funny but they are funny but I really did think that they did a really good job of paying tribute to actually having comedy here while also having some really horrifying kind of moments as well and I think some people they may not really like this film because of Sean how over the top he is as a character but I really did enjoy his commentary here and I think that he's very entertaining especially because he's pretty much one of the only characters on screen for most of the time there is one other character and I'm not really going to talk about that character because it will give some stuff away about the film but really you're really following this journey of Sean and I really did enjoy following this journey while he's in this house. If I really had to say negatives about this film, I would say that at certain parts it could be a little bit too much and they could probably cut a little bit. I would also say that the ending is a little bit predictable and that may be due to the fact that I've watched a decent amount of horror films and found footage films. So I really kind of predicted along the way what was really gonna happen, especially towards that final scene. I really think that this is a solid film and a definite watch 
when it comes to Shudder, I think it's definitely something that you guys should definitely check out. I'm going to give a score of this film a 4 out of 5. I think it's a pretty solid film, and it does have a lot of different events in this film that really do make it to be a really funny film, while also having those horrifying moments, and even some moments where you're like, what the heck? Can't believe that just happened on screen. There definitely was those kind of moments in the film, but I think in general, Sean just does a really good job of entertaining the audience here. But let me know down in the comments. I want to hear from you guys. What did you think about this film? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Was it meh? Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next review.